In the heart of the great Southwest, between Arizona and Texas, and bordering on the Republic of Mexico, lies the Sunshine State in this land of ours, the state of New Mexico. One of the largest, yet one of the least populated of all of our states, New Mexico was admitted to the Union as recently as 1912. Centuries before the Spaniards came, the region was inhabited by Indians who developed a high degree of civilization. They lived in huge communal houses. When Francisco Vasquez de Coronado explored this region in the early part of the 16th century, he called these strange villages pueblos. Today, descendants of the Indians of Coronado's day still inhabit this region. Many still live the simple existence of their forefathers baking bread by methods in use long before Columbus discovered America, and making shoes the way their ancestors did many centuries before. One of the most colorful periods in New Mexico's history is associated with the westward expansion of our nation. Here at Taos lived Kit Carson, famous scout and Indian fighter. And here, near the ruins of old Fort Sumner, is a marker to the remains of Billy the Kid, one of the most notorious outlaws the West has ever known. Despite the terrors of Indian and Desperado, traders and settlers surged westward over the old Santa Fe Trail toward the fabulous city of Santa Fe. The royal city of the holy faith of St. Francis the name the Spaniards gave Santa Fe when it was founded in 1609 has been a capital city continuously for over 300 years, making it the oldest capital city within the boundaries of the United States. Santa Fe is a mecca for those who would discover anew the glories of a bygone era. Here, a monument to the memory of Spanish rule, stands the ancient palace of the governor. Here, too, is the San Miguel Church, said to be the oldest church in the United States. Approximately 50 miles to the southwest of Santa Fe is Albuquerque, New Mexico's largest city. Modern and progressive, the principal commercial and industrial center in the state, Albuquerque, nonetheless, retains much of the color and charm of the early Spanish period of its existence. Old Albuquerque was established by the Spanish after their conquest of the province of Nuevo Mexico in the 16th century. Here is the old town plaza, once the center of community life and the scene of many historical events. In Albuquerque is the University of New Mexico. The university's Department of Archaeology has gained an international reputation for its excavations of Indian ruins. Rich in natural resources, New Mexico ranks high in the production of minerals and oil. Although New Mexico annually contributes a large share to the nation's petroleum output, her tremendous reserves are said to have scarcely been tapped. Of great importance as a fertilizer and widely used in the chemical industry is potash. Hundreds of feet below the earth, the potash is mined and then brought to the surface where it is refined for marketing. Another of the state's important resources is copper. From this great open pit mine, one of the largest in the world, the copper ore is loaded into railroad cars to be sent to reduction plants. Much of New Mexico's land requires irrigation. However, agriculture is important to the state's economy. The raising and processing of cotton into cloth was practiced here by the Indians long before the Spaniards came. And today in the southern part of the state, the growing of cotton is increasing in importance, contributing thousands of bales each year for the nation's needs.
Since Coronado brought the first horses and sheep into the territory, the raising of livestock has been one of New Mexico's most important industries. At one time, sheep dominated the state's agricultural life, feeding, clothing, and helping support her people. Today, cattle are perhaps of equal importance. The cattle roundup is a familiar sight in the great Southwest. Cowboys driving the cattle to shipping points along the railroad. And along the way, a man's got to eat. The grub is plenty good too, eh, partner? New Mexico is a paradise for those who thrill to nature's wonders. This is Ship Rock, which according to Navajo legend, flew as a ship in full sail to its present site, bringing the tribe to New Mexico. And this, yes, no, well, it looks like snow, but it isn't. It's the white sands near Alamogordo, almost pure gypsum, one of nature's most interesting displays. Few of nature's wonders can compare with the incredible beauty and grandeur of the Carlsbad Cavern. These are perhaps the largest and most beautiful caverns known to man. Carved from limestone rock by the action of water over an estimated 60 million years are great domes and palaces, seemingly limitless caverns adorned with stalactites and stalagmites, fantastically beautiful examples of nature's handiwork. And while we're speaking of colorful attractions, let's not forget New Mexico's great Indian intertribal ceremonial, which each year attracts thou visitors to Gallup. Navajo, Apache, Pueblo, and other tribes gather from far and near to take part in a spectacle of parades and dances that is perhaps without equal. New Mexico is indeed a land of enchantment, proud of her heritage of Indian, conquistador, and intrepid pioneer. Here at the end of the old Santa Fe Trail is the city of Santa Fe, the oldest capital city in the United States, with her ancient church of San Miguel, said to be the oldest church in the country. Modern, commercial, New Mexico's largest city is Albuquerque the home of the University of New Mexico. Here in New Mexico, great open pit mines provide copper. Beneath these extensive lands lie tremendous reserves of oil, of potash, and on her vast ranches run millions of sheep and cattle. To visitors, New Mexico offers ship rock, the white sands of Alamogordo, the incredible caverns at Carlsbad, and Indian ceremonials, providing fascinating glimpses into a way of life that has changed but little down through the centuries. Today, the heavy wagons no longer roll over the old Santa Fe Trail into this land of pleasant contrast. But out of this heritage of conquistadores and pioneers has come a friendliness that is so much a part of the Old West. One of the many reasons why New Mexico is indeed one of the most enchanting states in this land of ours. 